Protein. What is the daily recommended intake to maximize muscle and strength? And does that recommendation change whether you're in a bulking or cutting phase? So we've all heard that resistance training and a high protein diet is what we need to maximize muscle and strength. But what exactly do we mean by high? The recommended dietary allowance or the RDA suggests a daily protein intake of 0.8 grams per kilogram of body weight. And if you convert that to grams per pound, it equals 0.36 grams of protein per pound of body weight. But those are recommendations made for the average person. For athletes, particularly resistance trained athletes looking to maximize muscle and strength, that simply isn't enough. So a better place to look is published scientific research done on bodybuilders and strength athletes with the objective of finding out how much protein is needed to maximize muscle growth. Because if we're going to spend all the time training, it's only right we eat enough protein to get the best results. <laughs> Protein researcher, Dr. Stuart Phillips, professor of kinesiology at McMaster University. So here's a study by Phillips and others that makes a protein intake recommendation for athletes seeking to gain muscle mass and strength. And they actually give you a range of 1.3 to 1.8 grams per kilogram of body weight, with the higher range being recommended for a higher frequency and intensity of training. So while the average person can consume 0.36 grams of protein per pound per day, someone who's serious about making gains like a bodybuilder or a strength athlete is better off with a daily protein intake of around 0.8 grams per pound of body weight. And you may have heard other protein researchers like Dr. Alan Aragon and Dr. Lane Norton make slightly higher protein recommendations with a range of 0.8 grams to around 1 gram of protein per pound of body weight. But there are other researchers like Menno Henselman from Bayesian Bodybuilding who dispute the idea that going over 0.8 grams per pound has any additional benefits for muscle growth. And he actually cites a bunch of studies done on strength athletes and bodybuilders showing that a range between 0.7 and 0.8 is actually optimal for muscle growth. So approximately 0.8 grams per pound is definitely a good goal to work with. So what about when you're cutting? and you're in a calorie deficit and you're trying to get lean, especially for athletes who are already lean and they're trying to get even leaner. And by athletes, we're not only talking about bodybuilders and physique competitors trying to get lean for the stage. This can also apply to boxers, wrestlers, martial artists, or any other athlete that needs to make weight for a tournament or some sort of competition. So this is a systematic review by Eric Helms and others looking at dietary protein intake during a calorie restriction in resistance trained lean athletes. And the purpose of increasing your protein intake while dieting is to help preserve lean muscle mass while reducing body fat. So the general recommendation of this systematic review is to consume 2.3 to 3.1 grams per kilogram of fat free mass. But wait, what's the difference between calculating your protein intake based on your total body weight versus your fat free mass? Let's pull out the calculator. So calculating it based on total body weight is actually pretty easy. Take your weight in pounds and multiply it by 0.8 and that will give you your daily protein target. In order to calculate your protein intake based on your fat free mass, you need to have an idea of what your body fat percentage is. So one easy way to guess what your body fat percentage is, is to look at pictures similar to the ones on the screen, identify which body looks most similar to yours and use the corresponding body fat percentage. So subtract your body fat from your total body weight to get your fat free mass and then multiply your fat free mass by the grams of protein. So the reason that there's a range here is to accommodate the different goals of different athletes. For example, an athlete with a very low body fat percentage whose main objective is to maintain maximum fat free mass or you know maximum muscle, then they want to aim in the higher range of that protein intake. So for athletes who are not as lean and maybe more focused on strength and performance, then they can safely use a number in the lower part of this range. So general recommendations for protein intake can range from 0.8 grams if you're bulking or maintaining, or even if you're cutting but have a relatively high body fat percentage, to 1.4 grams per pound of fat free mass if you're a lean athlete looking to get shredded. So one thing to keep in mind, especially on a calorie restricted diet, is increasing protein too much is going to force you to lower your carbohydrates and your fats, possibly to a level that can have a negative effect on your training performance and your testosterone levels. So keep the general protein recommendations in mind and always do your best to assess the overall picture so you can choose the best protein intake for any specific situation. So that's it guys, that's the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed watching it. Um, I think I spent the past 10 hours doing that edit. And, um, you know, a couple hours throughout the work week, just kind of finding the research reading and reading through it and really just compiling in my mind um, how I wanted to present the video to you guys. So the funny thing is I woke up in the morning and, you know, I just had a whey protein shake and I haven't eaten anything since. And it's been like 10 or 11 hours. 
So I literally just went downstairs and cooked up some eggs uh, with some egg whites to try to get some protein in. So I hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment. Um, if you guys are not following me on Instagram, you should really do that because I'm constantly posting um, any scientific research that I'm finding, anything related to building muscle, whether it's training or nutrition related. So hit me up on Made Gains um, on Instagram, and you know I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.